Welcome to an example on how to solve a second order homogeneous Cauchy Euler equation. Let's start with a review of what a Cauchy Euler equation is. A Cauchy Euler equation is a differential equation that fits this form here and the main thing to notice is that for each term in the differential equation the degree of the coefficient is equal to the order of the derivative. So looking at this first term, notice how the coefficient has degree n and the term also contains the nth derivative. Looking at the second term, notice how the coefficient has degree n minus one, and the term also contains the n minus one derivative. This is true for each term in the differential equation, all the way down to a constant times the function y. And of course, if g of x is equal to zero, we have a homogeneous differential equation, and if g of x is non-zero, we have a non-homogeneous differential equation. So looking at our example, because we have a second order differential equation, in order to be a Cauchy-Euler equation, it must fit this form here, where because the right side is equal to zero, we have a homogeneous differential equation, and then for each term on the left, the degree of the coefficient is equal to the order of the derivative. Notice how the first term has a coefficient of degree two, it also contains the second derivative. The second term we have x to the first, so we have a coefficient of degree one, and we have the first derivative, and then we have a constant times y. So because we have a homogeneous Cauchy-Euler equation, we can solve the differential equation using the auxiliary equation here, using the values of a, b, and c, and then based upon the types of solutions in terms of m, we can determine the form of the general solution. So the first thing we need to recognize is that a is equal to two, b is equal to three, and c is equal to negative 15. And now using the auxiliary equation, a m times the quantity m minus one plus b times m plus c equals zero, we'll substitute the values of a, b, and c, and then solve for m. So we would have two m times m minus one plus three times m, and c is negative 15, so minus 15 equals zero. Let's go ahead and clear the parentheses and see if we can factor this. So we'll have two m squared minus two m plus three m minus 15 equals zero. Combining like terms, we have two m squared plus m minus 15 equals zero. It's a little bit more challenging to factor this because the leading coefficient is not one, so we'll go ahead and use trial and error. The factors of two m squared would be two m and m. We want to place the factors of negative 15 in the second positions so that the sum of the inner product and outer product would be positive one m. So let's put the factor of positive three here negative five here. Notice how the outer product is six m, the inner product is negative five m, giving a sum of positive one m, which is our middle term, so this is factored correctly, which means two m minus five must equal zero, or m plus three must equal zero. Here we would add five and divide by two, we have m equals five halves, or m equals negative three. So because the auxiliary equation has two distinct real roots, the form of the general solution will be in this form here, given by y of x. Again, to review, based upon the nature of these solutions or roots, it will affect the form of the general solution. So for another quick review, remember there are three possible outcomes. If we have two distinct real roots, this will be the form of the general solution. If we have two real equal roots, this will be the form of the general solution. And then finally, if we have complex roots, this would be the form of the general solution where the roots are alpha plus or minus beta i. So going back to our example, because we have two distinct real roots, the general solution is in this form here given by y of x. So our general solution, y of x, is equal to c sub one times x raised to the power of five halves plus c sub two times x raised to the power of negative three.
We'll take a look at another example in the next video.